Okay, so I'm going to take off this hose, which goes between the uh, top of the engine here, and the exhaust, right there, and over here on the uh, top of the heat exchanger. And we're going to need a new one of those. Okay, so I've opened up the, uh, the elbow on the back of the boat, and it's time for a new elbow. We figured out where I think the leak is coming from, and it's right down here on the bottom. So, to get this thing off, use a little bit of a heat gun and heat the hoses up a little bit, and out it goes. So, there you have it, one elbow removed. Okay, so if you're going to change the coolant or work on the hoses, you really don't want to spill the coolant all over the place. So, there's a trick to this, and what you do is use a shop vac. So here's the wet dry shop vac. I took the filter out of course so it's just uh, gonna pick up the old coolant. Turn it on. Go right up here. And suck all the coolant out. I'd already taken most of it out so uh, that's how you do it. Okay, so what we're doing today is taking the heat exchanger out, and first thing we had to do is take the exhaust elbow out, and so this is the water going in the exhaust elbow right here, and we got the exhaust, and then the exhaust elbow hooks up to right here, on the back of the engine, right, right there, and here's the heat exchanger. To get the heat exchanger out, you got to get some bolts off, so you have to take the bolt off right here and then down the bottom and uh, there's two of them there's one behind this uh, solenoid so you got to get down there and get that one which means you have to unhook the solenoid and you need a little bit more room for the wires so you got to release the wires the wires are tie wrapped here so I had to undo those and um, you got the ground wire for the fuel pump got to remember to put that back on and the easiest way to get this out is to cut the hoses off. So rather than try to undo them, um, I've just I've just cut them off right 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 down here. You can kind of see it. It's a little hard to see, but that's just cut off. And I cut the one off on this side. I'm going to replace the hoses, so no big deal. It's a heck of a lot easier to get them out and take the ends off once they're out of the uh, out of the boat. So we're going to have the uh, heat exchanger uh, tested. And hopefully it'll pass. Um, otherwise, we'll be buying a new heat exchanger, I guess. So, there you have it. Okay, so we're taking the heat exchanger out of the engine so we can get it uh, cleaned up and tested. And in order to do that, we had to get the hoses off, so cut all the hoses off the heat exchanger. I'm going to put new ones on, so that's no big deal. It's easier to cut them than pull them off while it's in there. And to get the uh, heat exchanger off, you got to loosen the bracket up here in the back that holds all the electronics. Get that off first. And loosen up the wires in the back so that they're free. A couple tie wraps over here got to get cut. And um, so you remove all the, all the hoses. And uh, twist it around a little bit. And hopefully we can get it to slide out right, right into, the, uh, into the locker over here. So... There it is, half in the locker, and we're just going to pull it out the rest of the way and have one heat exchanger out of the boat and off to the shop to get it uh, cleaned up. So, there you have it. Okay, so there's the heat exchanger completely out, and uh, i got to go take that over to the shop, get it cleaned up and tested, and see, uh, see how, it, uh, how it passes, and then we'll put it back in. Next project, I gotta get the rest of the hoses off. So back into the engine. Get the hoses off, get it cleaned up so we can get it ready to install the uh, heat exchanger once we get it back. Okay, so you gotta get the hose off the front of the engine that loops all the way back to the heat exchanger. And uh, here it is. And the way to get this hose off is cut it right, right about here. So you can get your hand in here get your hand down in here and you can you can turn it and the other thing to do 
is use the heat gun. So use the heat gun, heat this end up, grab hold of this piece right here, you can turn it, you can get it off pretty easy. You, first you have to take this bracket off right here. This bracket is really important, it keeps the hose away from the belt, so you don't want to forget that bracket because there's only a quarter inch or eighth of an inch of clearance right down in here, so make sure that's uh, all uh, put back together right. And I just put it back on so I don't lose the parts. And uh, there you have it. Okay, this is the bracket for the hose in the back, and uh, this is the one that goes down to the raw water exchanger. So it's a little bit rusty on one part. Looks like the chafing guard kind of came off. So let's see. Maybe I can recode it. Maybe I'll get a new one. I don't know yet. There's one part. Okay, coming. so I got to get what's left of that hose out down there. And I got the bracket off, off the engine mount that holds the hose. And now I got to get down to the bottom. And it looks like the hose clamp is accessible way down there. You can kind of see it. So I'm going to try to get that hose clamp off, get the heat gun down there, and pull this uh, hose off. Okay, so we got this little exhaust pipe out. We have to take that out so we can get to the bottom of this hose down here. So we're going to replace these two pieces. And we can get down there. There's one more hose clamp. I'm going to take this bracket off right here. So just like on the starboard side, a little metal bracket going around the hose right here. And it's held on here with this bolt. So I'll break this bolt open, get the bracket off, and then we'll get down to that hose clamp at the bottom. That should get the back hoses off. Okay, so here's the uh, hose from the bottom of the transmission and uh, got it off. And this hose has a coupler right in the middle because it takes this uh, Trident one inch hose, connects it up to the special hose from Westerbeek, and uh, this allows you to hook it into the the elbow so this this the elbow hooks up here and the reason they have this coupler I guess is because you might have to put in a different elbow configuration so you need adjustable like the hose so use some of this regular um, water hose stuff for it so I'm gonna pull these off with the heat gun and uh, check this fitting and go order some hoses okay so here's the fitting connects the uh, Output of the transmission coolant cooler uh, section up to the exhaust elbow, and we're going to try to get this guy off right here. We got the hose clamps off, so we're going to heat gun out and heat that up. And see if it'll pop okay, apart. to get the aft motor bound out, you got to take off the two bolts. You can see one right there, and the other one came off with the uh, clamp for the hose. And then you got to get these guys out down the bottom. Now to get these out of the bottom. You really need to use a crow's foot. It's a 9 16 so you get in there with this thing and uh, this guy right here, and you can wind them out pretty easy. So uh, I bought the motor mounts a couple years ago, but I never put them in in the back because uh, getting in there was a little bit of extra work, so didn't think they were that bad. But I got them, and since I got the back all apart, I might as well put the motor mounts in the back. So there you have it. Okay, so there's the aft motor mount, and uh, you got the bolts off the engine, and it's time to get down there with the crow's foot and get that last bolt out of the frame, and uh, the motor mount should be ready to be replaced. There you have it. This is a lot easier to do if you got the exhaust out of the way and the hoses. So. If you're going to change the heat exchanger or the elbow or the hoses, do the motor mounts at the same time if you got them. So there you have it. Okay, so I got the other uh, mount out. I guess the camera should go this way. On starboard, came out pretty easy. This one I had to use a little bit of PB blaster to get the holes to open up. So I'm going to clean that all up down there. and. Uh, the new mounts in. Probably put the hoses on and the new mounts in a couple days. Put it all back together. 
Hopefully it'll be good as new. Okay, so we got the heat exchanger down in the basement. We're going to open it up, get the rest of the hoses off. We're going to get this hose off and this one. There's one down around the bottom here. Open the ends up, clean it out, and then uh, maybe we'll probably take it down to the shop where they can clean them out and make sure they're all set. I'll test the pressure on it and boil the insides out. And if it passes everything, we'll paint it and put it back on the boat. So there's one Western Beak heat exchanger ready for disassembly. Okay, so here's the starboard motor mount. Got it off the boat. It's pretty rusty down in here, down in here. and uh, mount looks in pretty good shape. It's not cracked. So I'm going to get the sport piece off right here and see if we can get this uh, attached to the new mount, which is right here. So here's the new mount, and uh, I just masked it off and sprayed it, but it's identical. There's no difference between these two parts. And uh, put this in. It should work just fine. This is the uh, metal tastic cushy float, and um, I don't remember if this was the 45 or the 55, but I think uh, there's the number right there. So it's a 55 stamped right on it. So that's what's going back in. And uh, here's the other the other one. Got this one painted too. A little bit of scratches in the paint, but it'll be okay. So see if I can get this apart, and then we'll tackle the other one. Okay, so we got the mount in the vise, and yeah, there's a couple old yokes over there off other people's boats. And uh, gonna see if we can get this to open up and take it off. Fifteen sixteenths, right there. Just broke the uh, threads loose, and uh, one motor mount is now ready to uh, be attached to the new to the new part. As soon as we get this off. Okay, so motor mount bracket's a little bit manky looking, rusty, and uh, there's no cracks or anything. It's just this looks like crap, so grab the sander. I'm just going to sand it down and put some more paint on it. So there you go. Okay, here's the starboard mount. Oh, wait a minute, this is the port mount. Okay, here's the port mount. And uh, got it out of the uh, cushy float thing. And so a little bit of rust on here. I think we'll take this apart, clean it up, and uh, repaint it. Otherwise, the mount uh, bracket looks pretty good. There you have it. Okay, so these are all the new hoses I got to get for the boat. Um, right over here, this thing, this is the elbow coming off for the exhaust. There's a special hose clamp to attach it to the engine. And then here's the exhaust hose. And then we've got the uh, hose right down here, this one. Maybe that's better. This guy right here, it goes down to the transmission. So this is the uh, water out of the transmission. Comes right up into here, and then it gets shot out the back of the boat. And over here, out of the heat exchanger, you got raw water, hot raw water, coming out of the heat exchanger, going down through the transmission cooler. Transmission would be right here. You get these two brackets, one here and one here. And this one adapts a piece of uh, regular uh, water hose right here to the one that comes out of the transmission. And then on this side, we got the hose from the water pump right here. This is the water pump, so that's the input to the uh, heat exchanger. And then here's the uh, tube from the top of the engine going into the heat exchanger. And some Westerbeaks use a little fitting in here to take the hot water out, but on ours it comes out up front somewhere. So we just need a piece of this hose. And then uh, we've got this hose here, which runs down on top of the uh, um, alternator, regulator, starter, or excuse me, it runs on top of the starter motor, and then underneath the alternator and uh, up into the water pump on the engine for the uh, coolant. So this side's got coolant in it, this has got coolant in it, and this is your raw water in, your raw water out, down through the transmission, 
and it comes back up here into the elbow and then back out down that exhaust tube which got kicked out of position. So the exhaust tube goes here and then down into the exhaust uh, muffler thing. So that's the uh, setup. I gotta go buy some hoses and uh, I gotta get another one of these too. This thing here is broke. Flange is shot on it so we're getting a new elbow. Got that on order. And we're going to take the heat exchanger into the shop and have them check it. So they're going to pressure test the heat exchanger. They're going to look at the uh, all the inside of it and everything. It's pretty clean. It, it works, but it's got a little bit of corrosion around the edges and just make sure the thing is in good shape. So uh, there you have it. Okay, so here's all the parts for the uh, heat exchanger and a couple engine mounts and some hose fittings. And what I'm doing is I'm um, painting it. I got this paint here. It's um, Ford Red high temperature engine paint from VHT. And it pretty match, pretty well matches the original Westerbeek. So, um, seven bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. And uh, this is the exact uh, color that I'm using. So let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. SP152 Ford Red. And um, paint this all up and go put it back on the boat. Looks pretty good.